Good morning, friends. It is time to get our morning meeting started. So get a special chair or a pillow or get comfy on your couch and let's get started. Just like we do every day, it's time to check our weather. Are you ready to sing the song with me? Okay, here we go. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today? Friends, tell us. Okay, go ahead and stand up, look, or you might not even have to stand up. You can probably look out your window from where you're sitting. Uh, check out and see what the weather looks like. Okay, you guys know what to do. You already know what I'm gonna say, right? And then check your weather. You guys know what to do. Um, put your um, weather picture on the right day um, for your calendar. Um, and then you've done it. Good job. So go ahead and check your weather and do your calendar, just like you do every day. Good job, guys. Okay, so this week we are talking about something new. Last week we talked about the safari, the animals that you see on the safari, um, and you got to see some of the baby safari animals with their mamas, right? You guys celebrated Mother's Day. I hope you guys gave your moms nice hugs and kisses and told her it was her very special day, okay? So this week we are going to be learning about ocean and summer Ooh, ocean and summer and guess what this is our last week of school then it's summertime this is the last week of school can you believe that i know so crazy okay so this week we're going to be talking about ocean things, things that you might find in the ocean, not just the animals that live in the ocean, but other things that are in the ocean also. And then we might talk about where are oceans? Are they close to us? Are they far away? Do we have, can we drive to an ocean? Do we have to get on an airplane and fly to an ocean? Um, can you go to all the oceans? Um, just all about ocean life. And maybe some things around the ocean, maybe like a beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe like a beach. Have you ever been to a beach before? And then we'll talk about some things that you might do in the summertime, okay? Okay, friends, so this week we have been learning about good ocean. Um, ocean and summer things. So today I have a story for you and it is called Pout Pout Fish. Pout Pout Fish. Hmm. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Can you see him? Hmm, wonder why he's pouting. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dre dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Hmm. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hi, Mr. Fish, with a crosstown frown. Don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to, the, to his friends, nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Oh man. 
along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean. His tentacles are trailing. Uh, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly skull scrump scowl. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimpse and a growl. Says the fish to his friends, Mr. Jelly. I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it's, it is up to me. Mm, there's the jellyfish. Mm. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. Blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squealy sight. She's squirmy, she's squilchy, she's slightly, she's slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mop, of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid. I would try, but I haven't a choice. Take a look and you'll see why. He just can't do it. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the jury wearies all over the place. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the other side, on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell you, let me tell, <laughs> Let me tell it to you straight. You're a hulky, bulky, sulky. It's an un unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum. With a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. He just doesn't think he can smile. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread jury wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a slight silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but if instead of saying, hey, what's she gonna do? She plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Everybody's shocked. His friends look surprised. Mr. Fish was most astounded. Mr. Fish is just a ghost, a ghost, a ghost. <laughs> he is stone faced like a statue. Then he blinks and he speaks at last. My friends, say, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought I was a pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cherries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. He 
he's not a pound cup fish anymore. He's a kiss kiss fish. Smooch. He thought he had to be weary and dreary all day long because he was a pout pout fish. And then someone was so kind to him and gave him a friendly kiss. And then he said, I'm a kiss kiss fish. Today, can you be a kiss kiss fish with your family and make sure you give them lots of love? He got to meet a lot of different friends in the ocean. There was a jellyfish. What else did you see? Yes, there was an octopus and a clam mm -hmm. and a squid yeah so that was our story for today for ocean all right friends we will learn more about ocean and summer on your next morning meeting but i hope everyone is practicing their letterland alphabet you can um, listen to all the songs. Uh, don't forget to pick a letter land, at least one letter land um, friend to learn about or to uh, remember about uh, this week, okay? Or every day. You should really do one every day. Okay, friends. Um, our fruit of the spirit is. Anyone remember? Good. Self-control. Everyone clap it. Self-control. Everyone tap it. Self-control. Good job. Everyone whisper it. Self-control. Very good. How many syllables does self-control have? Great. Three syllables. Great job. Self-control. What are some ways that we can use self-control? Good, good. Those are great ways to use self-control. There is a really nice video in your morning meeting email on some different ways that you can use self-control, okay? And don't forget to practice your Bible verse. All right, friends, that is our morning meeting for today. We'll learn more about ocean animals or the ocean and summer on your next morning meeting. All right, friends, bye.